Hello and welcome to Ula Tealy Readings. My name is Lenore and tonight I'm going to be reading your tea leaves. This is a horoscope for Leo. If Leo is your solar lunar ascendant slash rising sign, then this is a message for you. Okay, let's get started. Wow, this is a <laughs> anxiety ridden um, uh, lots of stuff going on here. Um, so our card for tonight is the Prince of Discs. Okay. I like to hold it a little further out when we have a ton of separation because it makes it a little easier to see larger pictures. Um, okay. So, I'm, I want to start here. This is the first thing that kind of popped out to me is we have an X and an O. Okay, so there's a sense of love. Um, but my goodness, it seems quite messy. Uh, it really, um, we have a few birds here. Uh, this one especially, kind of on this uh, branch. And I just really, there's another one there. I really get the feeling that um, there's almost like a sense of alarm going off uh, from your kind of guardian angels, those who look over you. Um, not just the one, but multiple. And um, I feel like you just know something is not right. And this doesn't have to be exactly like a romantic thing, but um, it feels like it could, it could definitely be, um, what are you doing? Come on. Um, <laughs> the cat's, it's coming from my foot for some reason. I think, I'm wearing black socks, so I think he thought maybe it was, um, he saw my foot moving around and came running for it. He thought something was, I was playing with something over here. Um, so, uh, I feel like they're kind of looking over you, telling you there's something going on. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be any, it could be family. It could be, um, a friendship, but something's not right. Okay, somebody is, uh, and I feel like speaking untruths, okay? Um, and this is interesting because, to me because I really, um, I feel like you've been doing so well. Um, I see a, a squirrel. I think you've been saving some money or resources. I feel like you've been in love and devoted to your work, okay? Um, I really feel feel like you found a lot of pleasure in kind of building things up. If this is like, uh, your work, um, your body, your home, um, something in the material world though. Okay. Um, but I feel like there's somebody in your life that is, um, has their eye on whatever it is that you have going on. Okay. Are they feeling a little bit jealous? Are they kind of speaking ill of you? I don't know, but I, I mean, it seems like that could be. But I think more than anything, this seems like they are going to try to take from you, okay? And we have the birds, they're going off, okay? They're, they're in your ear, letting you know 
um, something is afoot, right? Um, and I almost, I see that it almost feels like a real motherly figure um, trying to talk to you face to face. So I feel like really trying to um, get your attention, let you know um, in that kind of knowing motherly way that, um, and I, what pops into my head is um, my acquired mother. She always says this. Um, tell me who your friends are and I'll tell you who you are. Now, while I don't think that's completely true, I do think the company we keep sets the tone of our life a lot, our immediate life. Um, if you are around people who are cunning, who are, um, you know, don't, you know, their word is not their bond, we'll say, or they are, you know, searching for, um, you know, it's a, a mark here or there. <laughs> um, it, it's going to kind of, you know, it maybe has never been you, but at some point, you know, um, come on, Pudgy. You want to come down here? Come on, buddy. I know you came to say hello. You came to say hello. And it's almost bedtime. Is it almost bedtime? Yeah, it is. All right. Come on down here. Come on, baby. Come on. I'll give you pets on my lap. Come on. Come on. I know you want to steal the show. These cats, they hear us talking. Shout out to Dove and Serpent Tarot. If you've watched my lovely husband's readings, you know that these cats love to show up. If they're mewing in the back, if they are let go, don't pull my thing off. If they're mewing in the back or if they're jumping on the table or want to be held, um, they, <laughs> they show up at least once a day, I would say, in one of the readings. Um... Okay, so let's see. The other thing we have is it looks like I almost wonder if we have a cancer person involved here. Um, and I just see a person kind of in the clutches of this cancer person. Now, I'd hate to um, say that a cancer person would ever, um, speak any falsehood, um, but maybe, you know, um, so I don't know, just be careful. It could be a, just a water sign person in general, somebody who wears a tough exterior. Um, but you know what, Leo, you are, um, really not somebody to be messed with so I'm not super worried about you but I want you to be um conscious of this energy I do feel though I mean goodness there's a lot of anxiety here a lot of restless energy um I have a person standing here and then we have a person standing next to them. Here we have the eye and it just, I really, gosh, and you know, the, and that's related to me in this, in seeing this, the evil eye for sure. Um, and, uh, I, I'm at a loss here. I just, I feel like you've been doing so well that you're just, you're bringing in negative attention, um, jealousy, you know, and, um, so I really think that you have to be kind of ruthless about, you know, taking some inventory of your life, of the people who are involved in your life directly. 
Um, it's not going to get better uh, because once somebody's mind is like poisoned against you in this way, how can they ever go back to just, you know, being your friend, being your support? Um, they are already kind of um, angling towards their own betterment through whatever you're doing. Now, if this is somebody who wants to come along with the, you know, for the ride, they want to maybe like work with you, um, get on with you. Yeah, that's one thing. But this is like, this is different. This is like a hater type energy. Um, and you know, that can't be helped. <laughs> you can't help, you can't help a hater. Um, they have to... <laughs> They have to kind of figure that out through self-development, okay? So, um, and I see here an angel, okay? And then I see two people here, and one's pointing. Um, this one looks like they're kind of, um, singing, maybe? And, um... So I feel that you do have somebody in your life who is really uh, on board with you. Really like a ride or die best friend, um, beloved, maybe a, a spouse, significant other, a business partner, whoever it is. Um, this is not that person. And you know that they're not. This is like your other half in some ways. Um, and I think that they really have been kind of that conduit for that angelic voice letting you know that you need to listen to your instincts listen to yourself you know who is wrong in your in your life even if it is your family right um even if it is somebody who's been around for a lot of years um Unfortunately, most of the time, those are the people who turn sour on us when you start doing well. Um, why? I don't know. I think that's completely insane to me. But it happens. I mean, all you need to do is go watch like Dateline or something. Um, people do not know how to um, behave. They don't know how to control themselves. Um, especially when they think that they'll get an easy payoff on something or they can, you know, cl social climb or whatever. They'll find some kind of pleasurable fulfillment in what you have or what you can do for them. And when they can't get that easily, you know, they just, yeah, they, they become destructive. Um, so you have to be careful. Uh, and you know, that's just the reality of things. So, um, you know, I wish this was better news. I don't like that. I don't like that energy. On the, on the plus side, you're doing well. Okay. I mean, that's the, that's the big news here is that you're doing, you've been doing well. You're good. You're doing good. Um, And I do, I just see this like, uh, incline, right? Things going up, 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 up. And I think it will continue to be that way. You just need to lock your life down a little bit better. Okay. Be mindful, be real mindful of who you are letting into your personal life, into your sacred spaces. Um, you know, not being out here showing out especially on like social media and that type of stuff um don't do that <laughs> don't do that uh it's not you know i mean listen you're a leo so you have that fire you you're you like to um show off a little bit okay but be mindful of um you know, how much you're showing people about your real life, um, what you really have, um, what you can really do, all of that. Uh, it's worth 
considering working on self a little bit more. And maybe that's where that cancer comes in because the cancer and the cancers are the most stealthy um, people you'll ever meet. Okay, they always fly under the radar. Um, they're and there goes the cat <laughs> doing his zoomies. Um, it must be bedtime because. <laughs> And now he's, oh, here he comes. <laughs> um, he is not stout. That's not a good, um, that, that is not a good representation of low key. <laughs> um, so anyways, just working on that, being mindful of that kind of energy. Okay. Um, and don't get scammed. That's the thing that comes to mind, thinking about, um, you know, just have somebody who knows what they're doing double check if you make any kind of business arrangements or whatever. And that's why we have that guardian angel and that person who is your, like your voice of reason. Um, that's where you need to really, you have to check yourself before you commit to anything, especially within um, the the disc energy, the material world, domestically, um, so relationships, marriage, all that, um, within business, okay, your resources, um, money, 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 stuff, legal things, um, you know, whatever, just, like, quite literally, like, building things, natural resources, and so on. Okay, let's see. We're going to look at the lightness of being um, affirmation cards. I'm singing because it is almost time for me to go to bed. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> um, this is the earth element. Again, I know I, I used them last cycle too, but I really like them. So I'm, I stayed with and I'm going to stop where it feels right. And here we are. Okay. Truth. Trust. Your patience will bring delightful surprises. Never put yourself down. Okay. This is, I feel like this is what a Leo would write. Never put yourself down. That is, <laughs> um, Yeah. I feel like that's totally Leo energy, especially solar Leo. Um, and yeah, being, going slow, being patient, sussing things out. Okay. Truth, trust. We already know that fully, um, goes with this reading. Okay. You are, um, if, if you're not good at detecting lies, which I'm sure you are, um, get somebody in there who can. Okay. Um, do not go off of your kindness in this one or sentimentality. Don't do that either. All right, Pudgy. I see you, buddy. Come here. I'm going to say thank you so much for letting me do these readings for you. It is always such an honor and a pleasure. Uh, if you'd be so kind as to like the video, it helps us get into the algorithm and that, um, is what what was I gonna say and that <laughs> and the algorithm is definitely what makes um things happen here it is what rules the world I don't know if it's one big al algorithm or if it's a bunch of little ones I don't know how that works um but uh we know that it is happy when there is engagement and things like liking the video uh, sharing the readings on other social media platforms, watching the video from the beginning to the end so you can listen to me stumble over my little spiel at the end here. Um, all of that kind of stuff helps. Uh, of course, you don't have to do any of it, but if you are so inclined to help the channel in some way, if you really feel um, passionate about doing that, these are some of the best ways to help Okay, and support. Um, other than that, if you have not subscribed, please think about doing so. You can hit the little bell. It'll let you know when the next videos are coming out, uh, between now and 
the next Leo in a few days, you can watch your other placements, your solar, lunar, ascendant, slash rising, Venus for love, and, um, oh, cross-watching. I'm always like, what is that other thing? Oh, yeah, cross-watching for your loved ones, your um, significant others, your kids, whoever you feel like. Um, and, uh... If you want to leave a comment, please do. I read every single one of them. I reply back to every single one of them. Sometimes it takes me a day or two to uh, get to each comment, but I will. And um, they really do mean so much to me. I love getting to know all of you. Some of, I've made some real friends here, um, people that I absolutely care about and I look for their comments, um, if not every day, sometimes it's every few days, but, um, just, you know, I, I do be thinking about, um, your stories, things that are going on in your lives and, um, you know, yeah, I, I feel very connected to the community here. So... <laughs> if you'd like to get involved with that, please leave a comment. You know, just let me know what's going on with you. How are you? Um, yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to say thank you. And I love you. And... Yes, I don't. Yes. <laughs> Alright, we will talk again real soon.